I'm a firm believer that a person really only needs two or three good friends in their life. Four is possible in some circumstances. If someone's fifth or sixth on the depth chart of your friends, and they probably aren't really your friends at all. They're probably more like close acquaintances. three or four friends that I'm talking about that are worth keeping around are the ones that you can call any day, any time to help you out of a jam, and they'll come running, no questions asked. These are also the friends that when you get together after some time apart, you don't skip a beat, and you get right back into the same old shenanigans. I'm lucky to have a couple of real good friends that fit into this category. Steve, he's my brother. He's got a big heart, gray head of hair, and is known as the original Captain Obvious. And there's Joe. He's the friend that just keeps showing up, but that's okay, because he's kind of our wild card. One moment, we could be sitting in a bar, having a good time, having a drink. Next thing you know, he's in the coat closet taking a leak. And he keeps things lively for us. And last but not least, there's Nick. He's kind of like the old wise owl of the group, who's usually pretty quiet, reserved, but when he talks, everybody listens. Of the four of us, I'm the last one to avoid the ruse that is marriage. I actually kind of see it as a badge of honor as being the last man standing. I kind of look at it like a last of the Mohicans moment. I, Jeff, first of my name, last of the bachelors. <laughs> Nick got married about eight years ago, still happily married with two kids, going strong. Steve and Joe just got married within the last year. And of course, we've all been each other's groomsmen, or in some cases, best men in each other's weddings. A common wedding tradition is that the bride and groom each give a gift to each of their members of their wedding party. Typically these gifts are personalized in some way and say something along the lines of thanks for being a part of our big day or something corny like that. From Steve, we each got a pretty sweet but personalized baseball bat. Nick got us a nice little zippo with our nicknames engraved on it. And Joe got us personalized knives, which I actually built the puzzle boxes that they came in. All in all, it's been a pretty nice haul of keepsakes. So Joe's marriage is still pretty young. His wife actually still allows him to have a room in the house that's all his, and allows him to decorate it any way he sees fit. Well, Joe had the idea not long ago of having me design and build a piece to store and display all these groomsmen's gifts. Just something simple and good looking to hang on the wall or proudly display the baseball bat, the knife, and the zippo.
To my buddies, these gifts are tokens to remind them the day they got married to the Forever Girls. To me, it's more a trophy of the friends that have come and have never gone. These are the reminders of the good times we had, the beers we drank, and the good times yet to come. So, as always, please like, comment below, share with your buddies, and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.